DJI Air 2S is equipped with next-generation camera technology, providing more professional camera features that let you capture more details for epic results. To avoid missing the best moment during flight, try using the new Endless Burst function. Select Photo on the live view of the DJI Fly app to enter single shot mode. Tap and hold the shutter record button or press and hold the shutter record button on the remote controller to shoot continuously. The number of photos taken is displayed beside the shutter record button in the app. After shooting, tap the playback icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. The burst collection has a burst icon on the bottom left of the thumbnail. Tap to view all shots in the collection. Select Photos, then tap OK to download or delete to delete them. DJI Air 2S supports both autofocus AF, and manual focus MF. By default, the camera uses AF to automatically adjust the focus based on distance from the subject. If AF cannot provide you the focus you need, you can manually adjust the focus. Tap the AF icon on the screen, then drag the parameter bar to manually adjust focus. In video mode, you can use digital zoom in the following ways. Drag the zoom button on the screen up or down. Zoom in and out on the screen using two fingers. Press and hold the function button on the remote controller and zoom using the gimbal dial. Parameters of DJI Air 2S can be adjusted in auto mode and pro mode. Auto mode only displays certain parameters on the screen. In pro mode, the camera view displays more detailed parameters. Tap to open the settings. You can also change parameters like white balance, shutter, and ISO. Master Shots In this video, you will learn how to use the new Master Shots feature for epic, automatic shots in any location. Before flight, observe your surroundings carefully and choose an open, unobstructed area. After takeoff, set the aircraft to your desired height and position. Tap Shooting Mode on the right side of the screen, select Master Shots, and select your target area or subject. After this, the aircraft will automatically select one of the three flight routes based on target type and distance. Portrait, Proximity, and Landscape. When a person appears in the frame, you can tap the plus icon in the camera view or drag a box around them to initiate the portrait mode of Master Shots. After confirming your subject, a map will appear automatically in the bottom left corner, and the estimated flight routes and area are displayed on the screen. You can adjust the width, length, and height of the flight area based on your surroundings. Tap to set a starting point. Select Auto, and the aircraft will automatically adjust its position for shooting. You can also tap to set a starting point, then select Current Position and the aircraft will use its current position as the starting point for shooting. Tap Start, and the aircraft will perform the following steps automatically. Zoom in, out. Circle, medium. Circle, close. Droney. Circle, far. Pitch up plus fly forward. Rocket. Camera down plus circle. Camera straight plus descent. Camera down plus descent. After shooting, the aircraft will return to its starting point. If the master shot subject is an object, the aircraft will automatically calculate the distance between the aircraft and subject, then select proximity or landscape based on the result, with the flight routes displayed on the map. In proximity mode, the aircraft will automatically perform Droney, circle far. Pitch up, fly forward, circle close, circle medium, rocket, camera down, fly forward, camera down, circle, camera straight, descent, camera down, descent. In proximity mode, the aircraft will automatically perform Droney, circle far, pitch up, fly forward, roll, fly forward, circle close, zoom in, out, circle medium, rocket, Camera straight, descent. Camera straight, circle. If you want to exit master shots at any point during shooting, tap the X icon on the right side of the screen, or press the RTH button on the remote controller once, and the aircraft will exit master shots immediately 
and hover in place. When circling a subject, DJI Air 2S will point its front towards its flight direction, while the camera remains focused on the subject. The front vision sensors of the aircraft will be activated during flight for increased flight safety. When flying in high winds or at high altitudes, it is recommended to switch from shooting priority to composition to avoid capturing the aircraft propellers in the frame. After shooting is finished, the aircraft will automatically create an edited video and give users a preview. Tap the floating window at the bottom right corner of the screen or tap the playback icon to preview the video. Tap the icon at the bottom right corner to select a template for creative editing to preview the raw footage of master shots. Tap check to complete editing. And share your creation with friends by tapping the share icon in the top right corner of the screen. That's all for the master shots tutorial. Focus Track is an incredible intelligent mode that allows you to fully unleash your creativity with DJI Air 2S. In this video, we'll explain how to use Spotlight, Active Track, Point of Interest. Before enabling Focus Track, make sure your flying environment is clear and free of obstacles. After takeoff, hover the aircraft at the altitude you want to record at. Focus Track supports three modes. Focus Track is enabled by default when you enter the camera view. To lock on to a subject, you can either tap on and frame the subject on the screen or enable subject scanning on the control screen. Once the aircraft has locked on to your subject, you can select a Focus Track mode. Spotlight Spotlight is the default mode when using Focus Track. Tap the shutter record button on the remote controller or the screen to start shooting photos or recording video. You can operate the control sticks to adjust the distance between DJI Air 2S and the subject, or adjust the composition with the gimbal dial or left control stick. Active Track offers two tracking options, Trace and Parallel. After selecting Trace, the aircraft will track the subject from a fixed distance. During flight, DJI Air 2S will automatically detect obstacles in its path and alter its flight route to bypass them. After selecting Parallel, DJI Air 2S will track the subject from the side at a fixed angle and distance. After selecting Parallel Mode, tap the Shutter Record button on the remote controller or the screen to start shooting photos or recording video. POI Start by having DJI Air 2S hover at the altitude you wish to record at. Simply tap on or frame your subject, select the POI icon, set the flight direction and speed, and the aircraft will calculate the radius and fly around the subject. Tap the shutter record button on the remote controller or the screen to start shooting photos or recording video. While flying, just tap stop or press the RTH button on the remote controller and DJI Air 2S will exit focus track. That's all for focus track. DJI Air 2S features four hyperlapse modes, free, course lock, circle, and waypoint. Each mode offers a unique flight trajectory and camera angle for truly incredible results in any environment. When framing your shots, try to avoid positioning DJI Air 2S too close to the foreground once you are in your preferred starting position, tap Hyperlapse, Free, and then set the photo interval, video length, and maximum flight speed. And the aircraft will automatically calculate the required shooting time. Tap the Record button to start recording. Circle. Circle mode allows the aircraft to circle around the subject while recording. Tap Circle. Then set photo interval, video length, flight speed, and circle direction. After selecting your target, tap the record button on the right side of the screen. The aircraft will automatically calculate and plan the flight route and begin recording. Course lock. In course lock, the aircraft will fly in the direction it is facing. After selecting your subject, tap the record button on the right side of the screen. The aircraft will keep your subject in center frame while flying and recording. Regardless of the way DJI Air 2S is facing, the aircraft will fly straight in a preset direction. Even if you don't select a subject, the aircraft will fly straight in the preset direction and shoot a stunning hyperlapse video of your surroundings. 
Waypoints In Waypoints mode, the aircraft automatically flies and records along a preset route. Tap Waypoints and fly the drone to your preferred locations. Change the aircraft's yaw angle and the gimbal's tilt angle to capture different perspectives along the way. Tap the record button on the right side of the screen and the aircraft will automatically calculate and plan the flight route and begin recording. On the upper left side of your screen, you can find the Hyperlapse Task Library. You can save your current trajectory in the library or use a previously saved flight route. Quick Shots is an intelligent shooting mode for DJI Air 2S that lets you capture advanced shots with just a tap. In this video, we'll explain how to use Droney, Rocket, Circle, Helix, Asteroid, Boomerang. DJI Air 2S uses obstacle sensing when shooting quick shots, providing an extra layer of safety for your flights. Also, make sure you are flying in an open and obstacle-free area. If you are not familiar with the quick shot you've selected, we suggest starting with a shorter distance first. Take off and hover the drone at least two meters above the ground. Tap the shooting mode icon at the right side of the screen and select Quick Shots. Droney. Select Droney and set your desired maximum flight distance. You can wave at the drone and it will automatically select the subject and start shooting. You can also tap and frame your subject manually on the screen and then tap Start to begin shooting. The drone will fly backward and ascend with the camera locked onto the subject. Once shooting is finished, the drone will return to its original position. Rocket. Select Rocket and set the maximum flight height. You can also tap and frame your subject manually on the screen and then tap Start to begin shooting. The aircraft will ascend with the camera pointing downward. Once shooting is finished, the drone will return to its original position. Circle. Select circle and set the circle direction. You can also tap and frame your subject manually on the screen and then tap start to begin shooting. The aircraft will begin recording while flying in a circle around the subject using the current distance as the radius. Helix. Select helix and set the maximum flight radius. You can also tap and frame your subject manually on the screen and then tap start to begin shooting. The drone will begin circling around the subject at its starting distance, getting gradually farther away until the preset distance is reached. Once shooting is finished, the drone will return to its original position. Asteroid. Select Asteroid and set the maximum flight distance. You can also tap and frame your subject manually on the screen and then tap Start to begin shooting. The aircraft will fly backward ascend to the set distance, and hover to capture an incredible panorama. Boomerang After selecting Boomerang, you can also tap and frame your subject manually on the screen and then tap Start to begin shooting. The aircraft will then fly around the subject along an oval path. During shooting, tap the X on the right side of the screen or press the RTH button on the remote controller and the drone will exit the quick shot immediately and hover in place. It should be noted that moving a control stick will also stop the quick shot. After shooting, tap the playback icon in the app to watch your video. Tap the download icon in the bottom left corner to save the original clip or generated video to your smartphone. Tap the switch button in the lower right corner to switch between the original clip and the automatically generated video. You can also tap the Edit button in the lower right corner to edit the original clip or generated video. Tap the Share icon in the upper right corner to share your video with friends. Thanks for watching.